Hello everybody, Great Steel Plays, and we're back with more Besiege. So someone made Wally, and they did a fantastic job. This is by Claudius. And uh, besides being absolutely enormous, uh, the adorable little robot creature is here in all of his very, very box-like glory. So here we go, Wally and his tracks work pretty good for the most part. Uh, hold on here, let me see. Oh my god, there we go, now we're turning. Looking good. His head moves around too. Oh, don't you fall over on me, Wally. Oh, he's just fine. His head moves around here too. You can flip it up and down and left and right and all there have you. D just about all of the numbers do something here. We can move his arms up and down and I think you can open and close the claws. Yep, open and close the claws right there so he can grab, I don't know, debris, <laughs> salvage. I think his arms might be a little bit too small for grabbing one of the opponents. You can also make his neck go up and down with R and Y. Oh my god. Oh, there's so many things that can be done here. And then each eye, well, let me see if I can flip around here. Each eye can be maneuvered with the, uh, the, the other keys over here. Oh, there's so many things. Alright, so now, thanks to Gray, he's looking a little bit derpy. His eyes are starting to kind of wander about in there, have you? But it's just fine. Wally just wants to make friends after all. We got plenty of friends over here with their axes and pikes at the ready. Hi there, friends. How's it going? Yay! Wally wants to say hi. See, Wally cannot injure another person. His, his treads merely flow directly over the... Sometimes his treads just fall right off his body. Go get him, Wally. The sheep want to say hi. Okay, we can move the arms up and down. We can squ squat the body up and down and <laughs> damn near everything. Almost every key on the entire keyboard can be used here to operate old Wally. There we go. Yes. The oh, there's one thing that can stop Wally, and that is the... Uh, the fruit stands. This is very interesting. Fruit stand, how could you do this to me? Hold on, let me go ahead and peel on back here a little bit. There we go. No fruit stand will stand in the way of Wally. There we go. There goes your cantaloupes and your melons and there have you. And for your transgressions, well, actually nothing's going to happen. Hold on. There we go. I was going to say, for your transgressions, your house is freaking toast. You can kind of do the Oompa Loompa dance with them if you want. The arms, man, they almost, well, crap. I didn't expect that to happen. I. <laughs> oh, Wally, he's been doing it for so long. He's just given up in life. He's just like, ah, I don't need my arms anymore. I've been. These arms have carried so many burdens. Oh, the burdens. They're tragic. He's given up. He's. He wants no more of it. It's a fantastic design, though. Welcome to the ultimate and awesome. It's the Moto Bushido. It's a walking samurai robot. Actually, it's more like a like a flaming rocket boot samurai robot. This is by Treble Cleffy, and it's pretty sweet. Okay, first we gotta put our blade away over here. See, now we gotta line on up. You only get one shot to make a first impression with this guy. So let's kind of wander right around over. You don't want to hit the landmine now. Okay. So now, right up, crap. All right, when in doubt, just cheat and move the guy where you need him. Now, the best thing for this is to definitely bring your speed way the hell down for maximum epicness, because in a second here, we're going to go ahead and fire the thrusters full speed ahead into the village of the damned. All right, Moto Bushido, go get him! Fire the rocket boots! Fire the rocket boots full steam ahead. There we go. All right, we're kind of off-centered a little bit. There we go. Now we've got it. And at just the right time, we need to extend our blade. And then... Rah! That kind of worked. Oh, we're doing, like, super gymnastical flips. Hold on, let me see if we, I can scabber it. But whoop! <laughs> oh, one of my rocket boots went flying. I think my leg came off, too. Oh, my scabbard's going everywhere. Yep. The rocket boot is now part of a water park, essentially. It's just making everyone all wet. Although, I guess if it could put out this fire over here, that would be kind of good. Um, you know, it worked pretty good. I think we just got to get it a little bit under control. Here it is. Right about here is where you'd be doing the Rules of Nature song. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, crap, our blade. 
Now, every once in a while, I guess uh, the blade does kind of fall off of the poor samurai over there, but he can still, it'll just, he still can put it away. See, it's just, it's not with him any longer. His blade was so powerful that it, it, I don't know, I guess it broke in half when it was attacking all the opponents. The leg over here, the one rocket boot, really loves to just leave his body. I think that this guy would do fantastic against something with like a little bit less mass. Ooh, you know what? I don't know, man. I kind of wonder if he could take this little building down, but I don't know if he could get up there. Rocket Samurai, you know what to do. Go! Go! Lift off, man. Lift off into the sky. Crap, I totally misjudged that. That's fine, though. We're going to go ahead and, well, that didn't quite work as expected. Hold on here. I'm doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of gymnastics. Oh, <laughs> there goes the freaking... Oh, no. Well, although they weren't my intended targets, this guy is fantastic at doing, like, an awesome air guitar all over sheeps and stuff. Oh, look at this. This wasn't supposed to happen either, but whatever. Wah! Out of the way, scumbag. That was like a big right hook right there. That guy went flying, took his buddy's legs out. There's kneecaps and patellas and all kinds of stuff flying everywhere. Taking a little bit of a hit. There's some, there's your, uh, your gathered resources over here, but I think we're going to be just fine. I kind of wonder if our dude will get up. It almost looks like he's trying. See, right there. That's the flips that you're not even, you don't even know about that right there. Come on, buddy. Land on your feet. Land, now he's just walking on air. I don't even know how we're doing this anymore. All right, I really think we can make this happen. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Go right up. Go right up. Oh, crap. I, my freaking sword went sideways. No! No, damn it. Oh, this is why I'm so terrible at Bushido. 80th times the charm. You got this, buddy. Get up there. Yes! He's climbing. He's climbing. I just have to extend the sword. All right, we need something, like, on our level. All right. Rocket Samurai versus Gigantic Airship. I think it's going to work out just fine. Oh, the airship's exploding of its own volition. All right, here comes the... All right, maybe not. I was going to say, here comes the Rocket Samurai, but he's kind of flipping out. That's fine. He's going to make it here. He's going to make it here. And when he gets here, he'll be swinging his sword with great power. All right, maybe he won't make it here. Nope, maybe he won't make it here. He's totally making it here. He's not going to make it here. He is not making it here. No, he's kind of getting here. All right, that's... I don't know what the hell happened here. There goes a leg. He cut his own leg off. Okay, this is going to be a very, very measured attack. All right, here we are. We're there. Okay, good. Now hit the boosters. All right, things are already starting to blow up over here, but it's just fine. And then at just the right time, swing the sword. <laughs> what? Yeehaw. And the samurai motor bot creature is airborne and wow it is like significantly airborne this is interesting the the mechanized robot samurai has figured out the secret to flying he has he has exceeded the normal levels of chi that are allowed to a human body and he has now propelled himself into the cosmos so that he can contemplate all oh oh never mind he the chi ran out we're now falling Falling back to Earth very, very quickly. Well, crap. All right, Robot Samurai. I think you did a pretty good... I think you did a fine... A real smash-up job against the uh, the gigantic ship over here. Well, half of your body did. It's just kind of... But I think that the sword... I don't know where the hell the sword went, man. All right. Let's put the Samurai up against some plebs. Here we go. Feel it, plebs. Feel my blade. Yeah, there we go. That's the crap. I was going to say, that's the destruction that a samurai robot should be levying. He did pretty good. Hold on. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and retract him over here. All right. Put the old sword back in the scabbard. Fire the rocket boots of holiness. And then the sword comes out. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're cutting through the populace now, boys. We are cutting through the friggin' populace now. Look at that sword dance. It is a glorious, a glorious, just majestic art. The, the, the art of the sword has never known such break dancing. Kenshin has nothing on us. The bodies. Wow, the bodies really go flying. Yeah, hitting the, like the grenade or whatever there at the end is an excellent way to finish off the day as a samurai. Uh, you know, but I... <laughs> Look at the blood, man. Look at the look at the swath 
of destruction you can have with this thing. From the perspective of the king's men, this is probably pretty freaky. Look at this. Look at him. All your buddies flying through the air as a massive steely sword cuts through shield and spear alike. Although the archers finally did take this guy out. Although every once in a while, dudes are popping off the ground like friggin' kernels of popcorn. I don't know what's going on. Look at this. I'm not doing this. I don't know what is happening over here yet. So, oh, it must be my jet boots. Maybe. I don't know. The physics of, uh, of the game are just awesome no matter what happens. Yeah, the, it's possibly the boots. The boots may be doing this on their own. Can we still move? Oh, we sure can. That's, but yes, we're going to roll on top of them. Roll on them, boy. There we go. You can, you've still got our scabbard. We still have, oh, we're getting up. It's like, it's like a Rocky Balboa samurai. Look, he can still fight, boys. He can still fight. Hold on, let's go over here. I think, I think we got this. There's a couple of dudes left, but we're still, we just got to kind of move our body around as best we can. There we go. Yes. Good. Good. Turn on your rocket boots, man. Come on, just kind of, oh, we're caught on a tree. And now we're getting stabbed with arrows over and over and over again. Although I will say the arrows don't really seem to be doing very much. There we go. The little soccer kick right there. Everyone's, you can kind of kick them. Watch right there. Did you see that? That was a good knee spike. It's like we're freaking hitting it. Yeah, it's like knee spike in a soccer ball. Wow. No joke. This guy is probably more deadly without his sword than he is with it. This is the rare dance of the locusts right here. The dance of the cherry blossoms. Coming to a theater near you. You get too close, and you boys know what's gonna happen. You boys know what's fixing to happen when you get too close. Watch this dude right here. Boom! Right on the top of the head. There you go. And we got the Shuryuken as well to finish him off. Well, as luck would have it, we just did the AT, -AT over in Brick Rigs, but damn it, there's a fine looking one over here in Besiege. This is by Seen by Olga, and it is, once again, the AT, -AT. It walks pretty good, too. Now we can control the head over here, so let me see. Oh, you know what we should do real quick? Hold on, let me go ahead and uh, move things back along to a somewhat normal pace. Now we can control the head over here with the uh, I, J, K, L buttons. We are just getting friggin' lit up with freaking arrows. Now this thing walks as well. There we go. Stop along there, buddy. Stop along. That's what the innards of an ATAT -AT looks like over here in Besiege. Oh, we're not doing so well right now. We are getting, maybe I should have gotten off a board with, uh, with no arrows. Oh my god, we're getting freaking shredded. There we go, yeah. Normal sandbox is probably the best way to start this guy off. There he is, though, man, look. Legitimately walks. There's those big old AT-AT features moving them around. I think we have a head cam over here. Oh, we sure do. Um, now I think backslash is some of the weaponry right over. There we go. Hold on. Let me see if I can aim on up here just a little bit. There we go. Now we got it going on. Hold on here. Let me let's aim up this head. Right slip. Oh yeah. Now the AT-AT's doing it to him. Now he's messing these boys up. Oh, you think you're gonna roll up on old Gray? What happened to my leg? One of my legs came off. Crap. Alright. 30th time's the charm here. Alright, we're gonna throw on the freaking. There we go. Throw on the first. Bit of lasers there. There's the second bit of them over here. Now we can move our head as needed. That's how you do it. Now we're taking out the villagers, boys. Now we're taking out the freaking villagers. How does it look? Hold on. How does it look? As the AT-AT -AT slowly meanders its way over to your base. Looks fairly intimidating. Now, to be fair, it's not really meandering very fast. Um... As a matter of fact, it's it's actually it's actually quite difficult to <laughs> self-destruct. If you can't beat him with the arrows, just self-destruct. I can't believe it. This guy's still alive. We self-destructed right on top of what a bunch of crap. Right in the middle of the base here. Oh, the arrows can't quite get that low. So close. I think we just lost a leg too. That's alright. Like I said, whenever uh Whenever Luke gets underneath the AT, at you boys know it has to happen. Here we go again. Fire! Oh, man. That self-destruct's pretty damn good. Interestingly, it can still keep fighting. Um, it's actually still standing, too. You figure it would fall over or something by now, but no, it's doing just fine. Let me go ahead and turn the weaponry off. 
Does the head still maneuver about? Yep, the head still goes up and down. You can see all the little... There we go. Finally, the beast is toppled. Holy crap. How many stabs with a halberd does it take to take down an ATAT? -AT? Size-wise, though, this is like the at ats like, little child or something like that. It's, like, probably one one-hundredth the size of an at, -AT. It still looks pretty good, though. So, see, my Olga also made this TIE Fighter over here, and it works pretty good. Um, well, hold on. If, if you're not gray, it works pretty good. There we go. So, there we have it. Yes! Once you get the hang of this thing, it flies kind of interestingly. Um... For the most part, you can kind of like maneuver it with both the uh, the up, down, left, right keys and then the I, J, K, L keys. You take off with the right shift. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to move, but it's not that bad. Hold on here. Let me. I'm fantastic at running this thing right into the frigging ground. I told you. Give me like a, a forward, backward, left, right machine for the love of Jesus. Give me a forward, backward, left, right machine, and I'm doing just fine. Any more than that, and you never really know. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we have it. Now we're doing good. There we go. Yes! The TIE Fighter... <laughs> Jesus, God. I was gonna say, the TIE Fighter's doing just fine. It is a good-looking TIE Fighter, though. I'm gonna tell you what. And I'll bet if you could, if you legitimately knew... Well and good enough how to pilot this thing. I'm sure that you would have no problems. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yeah, if Gray could even get this thing just a little bit pointed. There we go. Now we're in the danger zone, boys. There we have it. Yes. Oh, but TIE Fighter pilot already. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Damn it. I always want to go up. But instead, I end up going down. And then the poor tie thing. It's a good thing that these things are, like, mass-produced. Where did I end up? I freaking ended up in the lowest part of a freaking volcano or something over here. This sad little valley. Yeah, it's a good thing these things were mass-produced or whatever by the Empire. Because old Gray's gonna go through a hundred of them. Alright, let's see. Okay, we're doing pretty... No, 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 no. Every freaking time. Every freaking time with the up and down. Alright, there. Okay. So it's kind of like up for up. I always want to invert the controls. I don't know if you boys like inverted controls as well, but sometimes I do. There we go. Now we've got it. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know what direction we're facing. There we go. There we go. There. Now, hold on. Nice landing. Nice landing. Yes! That was a totally good landing right there. Totally good landing. And we've taken off again. Hold on. Let me see if I can land this thing again. Oh, yeah! See, it's pretty bouncy, actually. It's like little trampolines on the side there. Okay, now can we, can I, oh, Jesus. All right, that wasn't what I had in mind. All right, can I get off the ground? Just kind of off the ground. Hold on, I'm doing it. I just, it's got a boost on it. You, you can right shift for the boost. I just got to make sure to see if I can turn it the right direction. Well, I'm not really turning it the right direction. Hold on, how about if we go this way? All right, we've taken off. I've decided at the very least we need to knock down this friggin' tower over here. Oh, we're never gonna knock down this tower. We're gonna knock down a whole friggin' forest, though, with a TIE Fighter. I'll tell you, boys, that. Hold on now. I've got things slowed down a little bit to help us kind of maneuver around. TIE Fighter versus tower. Take 35 in action. Crap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we, got we got it. 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 Yes! The TIE Fighter has done it! I consider that a victory, and it's still mostly in one piece, too. Holy crap. I mean, you know, the portion where the dude would be is completely annihilated, so his ass is grass. But all of the expensive parts that can be reclaimed by the Empire are actually in quite good condition. The Emperor be pleased. TIE Fighter versus Lord Farquaad. Go! Oh, this is gonna be a hell of a dive bomb here, boys. This is gonna be a hell of a dive bomb. Oh, we almost freaking squeezed it in. That sounded terrible. This is it. This is it. We're taking it to the limit. We're taking it to the limit. Dive bomb. Crap. Come on, TIE Fighter. Walk along the razor's edge. All right. Well, we're getting closer. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Don't you turn that far. Don't you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Right there. Right there. Yes. Bowling for far quads, baby. The Empire strikes back, and this time, it is a friggin' doozy. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you at? Where are you at, Farquaad? There he is. There's what's left of the impudence that would dare go up against the freaking Empire. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Besiege. There is some really cool stuff out there. A lot of Star Wars stuff lately. 
The Samurai is the damn best, man. That thing is fantastic to pilot, especially when you slow things down. You just start going all Willy Wonka all over everything. Bodies start flying, blood starts spraying. It is friggin' fantastic. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>